Hello, fellow Chiefs fans. We have breaking news that's caught everyone by surprise, something nobody saw coming. Before we dive into the details, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any updates about our Kansas City Chiefs. Now, let's get into what's really on everyone's mind. The concerns surrounding our Super Bowl MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is a player who needs no introduction. His impact speaks for itself, placing him among the top five quarterbacks in history. However, over the past two seasons, he hasn't performed at the level of excellence we've come to expect. Don't believe me? Let's take a look at the numbers. In 2023, Mahomes posted a QBR of 63.1, the lowest of his career. This year, it has improved slightly to 67.1 but that's still his second lowest mark. Even more troubling, he set a personal record with 14 interceptions last season and is on track to surpass that number in 2024. So what's behind these concerning statistics? The Chiefs have been on quite a roller coaster offensively. The revolving door at the wide receiver position has left the team without a stable foundation. Travis Kels, while still one of the best tight ends in the NFL, isn't immune to the physical wear and tear of a long career. Meanwhile, Isaiah Pacheco, the engine of our running game, has battled leg injuries. Although Kareem Hunt has stepped up admirably, the team still lacks a running back with that explosive ability to make big plays. To address these issues, General Manager Brett Veach brought in reinforcements like Juju Smith-Schuster and DeAndre Hopkins, but there's still much to adjust. Another key piece of the puzzle is the offensive line. The plan to rely on young talents like Kingsley Sewell Mataya at left tackle hasn't panned out as expected. After a couple of games, Wanya Morris took over that position, but he too has struggled to provide the necessary protection from Mahomes' blind side. With an inconsistent offensive line and a passing game still adapting, Mahomes has found himself facing uncomfortable situations in the pocket. Opposing defenses have been relentless, forcing him to stay inside the pocket and complicating his ability to execute those signature creative plays we all love. Despite all these challenges, recent history shows that Mahomes knows how to dig deep when it matters most. In last year's playoffs, he was flawless, leading the Chiefs to their third Super Bowl title and breaking a streak of 15 consecutive wins. Yes, he threw 25 interceptions over the last 26 regular season games, but in critical moments, he's one of the most reliable quarterbacks in the NFL, boasting only one interception in his last seven playoff games. Even with these hurdles, Mahomes is completing 6.9.5% of his passes this season, his highest rate yet. So Chiefs fans, let's be blunt. The situation with Mahomes is more complex than it appears. The numbers tell part of the story, but context is key. Our wide receiver group is still searching for consistency, and injuries have complicated the running game. The biggest concern? The offensive line. Kingsley Suomataya and Wanya Morris are young and have potential, but protecting Mahomes' blind side requires experience and precision. When the pocket breaks down, Mahomes must adjust his mechanics, which could explain some of the inaccurate throws we've seen. But rest assured, this is a period of adaptation. Andy Reid is a master strategist, and Mahomes has the intelligence and talent to overcome obstacles. While the numbers might seem alarming in a vacuum, remember, wins speak louder, and right now, the Chiefs are at the top. Now, I want to hear from you. Do you think Patrick Mahomes is truly underperforming, or do you believe he will silence his critics and prove he's the best in the league? Leave your comments below, and let's discuss.